Whatever makes another person eligible to park here. Make the right decision. Don't drink and drive. If you've been injured by a drunk driver, call Trantolo and Trantolo and let our family help your family. Covering Windsor and all of Hartford County, Eyewitness News is everywhere. Good song. Talking about the greatest, it was a hotly anticipated face-off between two of the biggest names in tennis. Women's great Serena Williams played men's superstar Roger Federer for the first time ever. Federer defeated Williams in the mixed doubles match at the Hopman Cup. That was in Australia yesterday. But there were clearly no hard feelings. Well, it was a great experience. I'm kind of sad it's over, you know. I was just warming up. <laughs> For me, it was a bit nerve-wracking, too, to be honest, because all of a sudden, you're serving, especially the last serve at 3-all. I'm like, i got to win this point, but it's Serena Williams, I was telling myself. And I was telling myself, this is maybe what I've always wanted, maybe. <laughs> Williams called Federer the, quote, greatest of all time after the match, and the two <laughs> took a photo together. And, of course, Serena Williams still the record holder with 23 major singles championship. I love that Federer was freaked out by playing Serena. It's just, it's, it takes a lot to freak him out. I know. It's so cool. All right, welcome back to CBS This Morning. Here are three things you should know this morning. The man suspected of killing California Police Corporal Raniel Singh will appear in court for the first time today. Gustavo Perez Arriaga is expected to be arraigned on murder charges. The Mexican national who was in the U.S. illegally was arrested on Friday after a nationwide manhunt. He was allegedly trying to escape to Mexico. Seven other people, including his girlfriend and two of his brothers, were also arrested, accused of helping Arriaga hide from police. The cost of medicine is going up in the new year, despite pressure from the Trump administration to slash prices. Industry analysts say more than three dozen and pharmaceutical companies raised prices on hundreds of drugs yesterday, including many generic medicines. Now, overall price increases continue to exceed inflation. Drug maker Allergen had some of the highest increases. They averaged 9.5% on more than two dozen pr products. Allergen previously promised to keep increases under 10%. Now, yesterday it said it is committed to responsible pricing principles. And 300 Catholic bishops from across the U.S. are gathering today for a week week-long retreat on the clergy sex abuse crisis. The meeting is taking place at a seminary near Chicago. Organizers say the retreat will focus on prayer and spiritual reflection and not policy making. Pope Francis convened the retreat. He's sending the priest who serves as preacher to the papal household. The gathering comes as CBS News has learned of several cases involving nuns accused of sexual misconduct. Nikki Batiste has been talking to women who say they were victimized. Nikki, good morning. Nora, good morning. The Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priest or SNAP says it doesn't keep count of sexual abuse allegations, but we've spoken with several people who recently reported misconduct, ranging from forceful kissing to molestation, all carried out by nuns. One woman who agreed to speak on camera describes her experience as unconscionable. This is Sister Shaw. Yes, this is Sister Eileen Shaw. This is the nun Trish Cahill says she confided in when she was 15 years old. I would have done anything for her. I would have died for her. At a convent in New Jersey, she says she told Eileen Shaw things she'd never revealed to anyone about her now deceased uncle, a priest, whom she claims sexually abused her starting at age five. She gave me everything that was lacking that I didn't even know I was lacking. I was so broken. She filled in all those pieces. She now describes that process as grooming, saying Shaw applied her with drugs and alcohol while teaching her how to have sex with a woman. I'm with my friends during the day and I'm with this pedophile nun on the evenings and on the weekends and in the summer. Pedophile nun is a phrase I think most of our viewers will have never heard. Really? Wow. That's really a shame because there's a lot of them out there. It's the secret not yet told. Mary Despenza is trying to change that. The demands of chastity and celibacy are unrealistic demands for many of us. Despenza, a former nun from another congregation, remembers what happened when a superior summoned her to her room. I knelt down uh, right next to her 
and she kissed me all, all over softly my face. And I want to say, oh, but it wasn't bad. But it was, and I've carried it with me till today. Through her work with SNAP, the survivor's network of those abused by priests, she says she would occasionally hear about abuse or cover-ups by nuns. But since the publication of a grand jury report identified hundreds of pedophile priests in Pennsylvania, at least 18 people have contacted her to share stories of abuse by religious sisters. We've heard so much about alleged child sex abuse by priests. Why haven't we heard about nuns? A lot has to do with, with the culture of nuns, which are, they are very, very pr private by nature. Trish Cahill reported her abuse to the Sisters of Charity of St. Elizabeth in 1994. The congregation paid her a $70,000 out-of-court settlement. They had canon lawyers on retainer just for people like me. Shut her up, pacify her, tell her you love her and you'll pray for her and send her on her way. In a statement, the congregation tells CBS News the case was investigated immediately when it was reported in 1994 and a settlement was reached that was mutually agreed on by all parties. We believe that the Sisters of Charity acted in a responsible manner. Hi, is this Eileen? We reached out to Sister Eileen Hi. Shaw, who Cahill says she continued to see for years as an adult. You don't wish to discuss this at all? She just hung up. The Sisters of Charity removed her from her role as a grade school principal, but report she remains a nun. They're providing her with food and housing while restricting her from outside ministry. I think it's really sad. In the meantime, Cahill says the settlement she signed wasn't enough to help her deal with a lifetime of trauma. What is your hope? That this is the beginning of many, many times more that I get to speak and I get to educate and I get to possibly prevent this from happening to anyone ever again. Cahill says she believes other nuns had to have known what was going on with her. She struggled with post-traumatic stress disorder along with alcohol and drug addiction that she says began with her abuse. The Sisters of Charity says they're willing to meet with her to address her continuing concerns. I tell you, predators come in all genders, but you have to note that they seem to know exactly who yeah. to go after. And I think a lot of people think nuns are maternal, they're safe, and in, in this case, according to some of these victims, it wasn't. What, what we have learned is that abuse fosters in silence. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to expose Absolutely the abuse, true. you have to talk about it. So thank you for your reporting, Nikki. Thank you. Yeah. Great job. Thank you. Well, Seth Doan is in Venice with how visiting the popular Italian city could soon cost you more than you might expect. On average, around 80,000 visitors come to Venice every day, clogging these narrow canals and alleyways. Coming up on CBS This Morning, we'll take a look at a controversial new law that will allow this city to charge day trippers for their visits. And if you're on the go, subscribe to our CBS This Morning podcast, available on Apple's podcast app or wherever you like to download your podcast. Here are the day's top stories and what's happening in your world in less than 20 minutes. You're watching CBS This Morning. Oh. 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 People with type 2 diabetes are excited about the potential of once-weekly Ozempic. In a study with Ozempic, a majority of adults lowered their blood sugar and reached an A1C of less than 7 and maintained it. Oh, under 7? And you may lose weight. In the same one-year study, adults lost on average up to 12 pounds. Oh, up to 12 pounds? A two-year study showed that Ozempic does not increase the risk of major cardiovascular events like heart attack, stroke, or death. Oh, no increased risk. Oh. Oh. Ozempic should not be the first medicine for treating diabetes or for people with type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Do not share needles or pens. Don't reuse needles. Do not take Ozempic if you have a personal or family history of medullary thyroid cancer, multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2, or if you are allergic to Ozempic. Stop taking Ozempic and get medical help right away if you get a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, itching, rash, or trouble breathing. Serious side effects may happen, including pancreatitis. Tell your doctor if you have diabetic retinopathy or vision changes. Taking Ozempic with a sulfonylurea or insulin may increase the risk for low blood sugar. Common side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, and constipation. Some side effects can lead to dehydration, which may worsen kidney problems. I discovered the potential with Ozempic. 
Ask your health care provider if Ozempic is right for you. Want to win $5,000 a week forever from Publishers Clearinghouse? <laughs> win $5,000 a week for your life. Then after that, someone you choose gets five grand a week for their life. Enter at PCH.com and February 28th, win forever. <coughs> when you have a cold, pain from chest congestion can make this feel like this. <laughs> All-in-one cold symptom relief from Tylenol, the number one doctor-recommended pain relief brand. Tylenol. You're made of trillions of cells. They work together doing important stuff. The hitch? Like you, your cells get hungry. Feed them with Centrum Micronutrients. Restoring your awesome daily. Feed your cells with Centrum Micronutrients today. When it comes to hotels, we're very demanding. We want a pool. A cool pool. We want 24-hour room service. And laundry service, too. Ah! It'd be great to have a kids club and a doctor on site. It seems difficult, but with Trivago, it's not. Just select the filters you need, and Trivago will compare prices from hundreds of websites worldwide. Easy. Find the ideal hotel for you. Hotel Trivago. Fact. Some of your favorite foods stain teeth. Unlike ordinary whitening toothpaste, Colgate Optic White has hydrogen peroxide that goes below the tooth's surface. For a smile, it's four shades visibly wider. Colgate Optic White. Whitening that works. Tonight, it's a new year, and SEAL Team is back with all new episodes. Talk to me. She's wired. She moves, we die. New missions. They hijacked a plane to jailbreak friends. They want prisoners released. The U.S. doesn't negotiate with terrorists. And new love. Do you want to talk about it? Oh, you mean when you kiss me? That's pretty good. One that new SEAL Team, CBS Tonight. Mount Southington Ski Area, where the thrills are made locally. in Plantsville, Connecticut. Now, ShopRite does the can can selling loads of brands of everything in cans cans. The savings are uncanny. Assorted Ronzoni pastas are 59 cents with your card. It's ShopRite's famous can can time. A controversial new proposal aims to stop overcrowding in one of the world's most popular tourist destinations. About 30 million visitors pack into the Italian city of Venice every year. It is a beautiful city. To deal with the crowds, the city is planning to start charging many tourists an entrance fee. Seth Doan is in Venice, where locals say the city's future is at stake. Seth, good morning. Good morning to you. Locals say this place has become so busy it is like a Disneyland for tourists. This view has always been seen as priceless, but now it in fact may come with a price upwards of 10 euros. That's the U.S. equivalent of about $11.50 for a visit. Its famed canals and picture-perfect setting has made Venice infamous for its tourists. Hordes pack its narrow alleys searching for that all-important selfie. But the vast majority, about four-fifths of visitors, do not spend the night. So the city loses out on potential earnings from hotel taxes. Now Italy's parliament has approved a measure that will allow the city to charge tourists that only come for the day. The money would go towards keeping the city clean, Mayor Luigi Brugnaro said, and allow locals to live with more decorum. Venetians have told us they're concerned the daily deluge of visitors, some coming on giant cruise ships, is not only straining the city's resources and delicate architecture, but causing Venice to lose its soul. Since 1951, the city's population has plummeted to fewer than 55,000 people, but it can see on average more than 80,000 visitors per day. We've reported on the regular protests from residents who've carried suitcases as a symbol there on their way out. We have many, many, too much tourists. Too many tourists? Yes. That's according to Paula Marr, who manages tourism for the city. Before the new tax was announced, she told us visitors are essential to the economy, but that the city has reached a breaking point. Tourists are our guests, Marr told us, and we want to treat them with respect, but we want respect. This is a fragile city. Officials have put up gates so they can control the flow and have proposed raising a fine to more than $500 for those sitting or lying on undesignated public spaces. They've also banned the opening of new fast food chains out of concern Venice was at risk of losing its identity. 
The tax will be higher during peak periods, though it is not yet clear when or how this fee will be implemented, though it is certain that other cities facing this tourist crush will be watching Venice closely. Anthony? It's worth it, Seth. Still my favorite city in the world. It was my mom's favorite city in the <laughs> oh, world. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, unbelievably beautiful They're saying place. it could be up to like 10 euros. It's so. not, all things considered, it's not a lot. They should tax those mammoth ships that come in with those people. <laughs> with those big wakes. Yes. Seth Stone, thanks. Up next, a look at this morning's other headlines, including how a meeting of two college football mascots turned scary when a massive steer began to charge. First at 7.45, time to check your local weather. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Today is going to be a colder day than where we were yesterday. Yesterday in the mid to upper 50s. Today only in the low to mid to upper 30s. Partly sunny and cold. Sun was up at 719, sets at 431. Now, your seven-day forecast does include a little bit of light precipitation. Tonight around midnight through very early tomorrow morning could be a coating to an inch, snarling up tomorrow morning's commute. We're going to keep you posted. That's a possibility. And then turning out to be mostly sunny tomorrow afternoon. Friday looks good. Saturday looks wet. I knew about the tremors, but when I started seeing things, I didn't know what was happening, so I kept it in. He started believing things that weren't true. I knew something was wrong, but I didn't say a word. During the course of their disease, around 50% of people with Parkinson's may experience hallucinations or delusions. But now, doctors are prescribing Nuplazid, the only FDA-approved medicine proven to significantly reduce hallucinations and delusions related to Parkinson's. Don't take Nuplazid if you are allergic to its ingredients. Nuplazid can increase the risk of death in elderly people with dementia-related psychosis and is not for treating symptoms unrelated to Parkinson's disease. Nuplazid can cause changes in heart rhythm and should not be taken if you have certain abnormal heart rhythms or take other drugs that are known to cause changes in heart rhythm. Tell your doctor about any changes in medicines you're taking. The most common side effects are swelling of the arms and legs and confusion. We spoke up and it made all the difference. Ask your Parkinson's specialist about Nuplazid. Brushing only reaches 25% of your mouth. Listerine cleans virtually 100%, helping to prevent gum disease and bad breath. Never settle for 25%. Always go for 100. Bring out the bold. Oh, here it goes. WW Freestyle is proven to help people lose weight, sleep better, and feel happier. Join for free and lose 10 pounds on us. Could switching to GEICO really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Did the little piggy cry wee, wee, wee all the way home? Wee! Wee, wee, wee! You're home. Oh, cool. Thanks, Mrs. A. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. I was recently diagnosed with diabetes, and my dry skin was a thing that alerted my doctor to my condition. Gold Bond Diabetics Dry Skin Relief. 90% saw noticeable skin improvement in one hour. My skin feels nourished, healthy. Our dad was in the hospital. Because of smoking. It still had to have a cigarette. Had to. But then we were like, what are we doing? The Nicoderm CQ patch helps prevent your urge to smoke all day. Nicoderm CQ. You know why, we know how. I needed legal advice for my shop. That's when I remembered that my ex-ex-ex-boyfriend actually went to law school, so I called him. He didn't call me back. If your ex-ex-ex-boyfriend isn't a lawyer, call LegalZoom, and we'll connect you with an attorney. LegalZoom, where life meets legal. Turn up your swagger game with one-a-day gummies. One serving, once a day. With nutrients that support six vital functions and one healthy you. That's the power of one-a-day.
Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Here's a look at some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Associated Press reports U.S. authorities fired tear gas across the Mexico border into Tijuana yesterday to stop about 150 migrants from crossing. U.S. Customs and Border Protection said it was targeting rock throwers and that no agents witnessed migrants at the fence line affected by the chemicals. But the Associated Press said rocks were thrown only after the tear gas was fired. Customs and Border Protection said the incident would be reviewed. The New York Times says North Korea Korean leader Kim Jong-un and President Trump are essentially back at square one in talks to get Kim to give up nuclear weapons. In his annual address yesterday, Kim said international sanctions must be lifted before North Korea abandons its nuclear program. Six months after their historic summit meeting in Singapore, Kim and Mr. Trump still cannot agree on a definition for denuclearization. Our partners over at the BBC report on a New Year miracle in Russia after a baby was pulled from a collapsed apartment building. The baby boy survived more than 35 hours in freezing temperatures. He was hospitalized in serious condition. That explosion happened Monday about a thousand miles east of Moscow. At least 21 people were killed. The Financial Times reports Netflix pulled an episode of a U.S. comedy show after Saudi Arabia complained. The Patriot Act with Hassan Minaj criticized America's relationship with the kingdom after the killing of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi. Well, Netflix said it strongly supports artistic freedom and that Saudi Arabia filed a valid legal request claiming the episode violated its anti-cyber crime law. The Saudi law has been criticized by human rights groups as a tool to suppress free speech. And USA Today says the Texas Longhorns mascot Bevo charged Georgia's bulldog mascot Ugga before the Sugar Bowl. The steer broke out of his enclosure on the sidelines of the college football game at the New Orleans Superdome yesterday. Fortunately, little Ugga escaped without injury. No humans were hurt. Ugga didn't stand a chance. I know. Hook'em horns. Oh, it got very close there. It got very close. All right, Democrats promise action when they take control of the House tomorrow. Congressman Jerry Nadler will become chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. This morning, he's here in our Toyota Green Room. We'll ask him about the Democrats' plans for the first few days and the next two years. With moderate to severe Crohn's disease, I was there. Just not always where I needed to be. Is she all right? I hope so. So I talked to my doctor about Humira. I learned Humira is for people who still have symptoms of Crohn's disease after trying other medications. And the majority of people on Humira saw significant symptom relief, and many achieved remission in as little as four weeks. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common. And if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores, don't start Humira if you have an infection. Be there for you and them. Ask your gastroenterologist about Humira. With Humira, remission is possible. Hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid. It's the skincare ingredient that everyone is searching for. And it's in here. New from Revitalift, Derm Intensive's Hyaluronic Acid Serum. With our highest concentration of hyaluronic acid in a serum. Visibly plump skin in just one week. Bounce back. And reduces wrinkles for younger looking skin. Powerful results. Validated by dermatologists. New Revitalift Derm Intensive's Hyaluronic Acid Serum. From L'Oreal Paris. We're worth it. Overwhelming air fresheners can send you running. So try Febreze One with no aerosols and no heavy perfumes. So you can spray and stay. Febreze One. Oh, Milk, am I willing to pay the price for loving you? You'll make my morning, but ruin my day. Complicated relationship with milk? Pour on the lactate. 100% real milk, just without that annoying lactose. Mm, that's good. 
take the treatment of your ulcerative colitis in a different direction. Talk to your doctor about Zeljans, a pill, not an injection or infusion, for adults with moderate to severe ulcerative colitis. Zeljans is the first and only FDA-approved pill for moderate to severe UC. It can reduce symptoms in as early as two weeks, improve the appearance of the intestinal lining, and provide lasting steroid-free remission. Zeljans can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened as have tears in the stomach or intestines, serious allergic reactions, low blood cell counts, higher liver tests, and cholesterol levels. Don't start Zelljans if you have an infection. Your doctor should perform blood tests before and while taking Zelljans and monitor certain liver tests. Tell your doctor if you've been somewhere fungal infections are common and if you've had TB, hepatitis B or C, or are prone to infections. You could take your UC treatment in a different direction. Ask your gastroenterologist about Zelljans. Tonight on Cool Beer. Don't miss former First Lady Michelle Obama. Do we have time? <laughs> I've been told we have plenty of time. Plus, music from Common tonight. Connecticut winters can be brutal. It is snarling up things. That's why Connecticut relies on early warning weather. We want to see what's going on at your house. Weather alert days to keep you prepared. The models are coming in hot and heavy. Connecticut's only live Doppler to keep you safe. Wave after wave of heavy snow. The most experienced team to keep you in the know. Certainly some good news. Getting you through another Connecticut winter like no one else can. Early warning weather exclusively on Eyewitness News. In New England, we love our winter sports. Sledding in the snow or skating on ice is fun, but not when it happens on a sidewalk, parking lot, or a driveway. If you fall and are seriously injured because someone chooses not to take care of their property, we'll help you get back on your feet. We're Transolo and Transolo, and for over 75 years, we've handled thousands of cases just like yours. For a free consultation, call Transolo and Transolo and let our family help your family. Sleep better and feel better in 2019 with a new bed from Connecticut Mattress. With closeout prices, you'll save up to $1,000 on Beautyrest Black or get $300 bonus savings on iComfort. Sleep better or get every penny back. Connecticut Mattress. Come into Ashley Home Store for the New Year's Mattress Sale going on now. For a limited time, save up to $1,000 on select pillow top mattresses from Beautyrest and our exclusive Ashley Sleep Collection. Your choice, just $6.99. Ashley Home Store in Newington and Manchester. Channel 3, early warning weather, morning update. All right, let's check in with those temperatures. They are colder than where they were just 24 hours ago. However, they're a little bit above average. 18 is the typical overnight low. Now, don't forget there is a bit of a breeze out there, sustained anywhere from 3 to 10. So that little bit of a breeze, well, it does make it feel a little colder. Like it's 14 in Salisbury, 15 in Torrington, 16 in Waterbury. Winter is back with us this morning. It's not going to stick around as this temperatures start to moderate towards the latter part of the week. But in the meantime, it is cold out there, and it's going to be a chilly day today with temperatures 20 degrees colder than where they were yesterday. Partly sunny, cold today, and then a little bit of mixed precip rolls in tonight through early tomorrow morning. We could have a coating to an inch of snow in parts of Connecticut, particularly in northern Connecticut, uh, and that could snarl up and make things slippery for tomorrow morning's commute. Friday looks great. Saturday looks wet with rain, and then Sunday looks like the better of the two weekend days. 758. Nicole's up next now, with traffic. Early warning pinpoint traffic, driven by your Connecticut Chevy dealer. All right, good morning, everyone. Right now, um, this just came into the pinpoint traffic center, so you're hearing the first right now about this accident involving a car and a bus. This is in New Haven, right where 4th Street intersects with Howard Avenue, so please be careful if you're traveling in that direction. And also, we have another crash to tell you about, Neon Sonia Pinecrest Avenue at Hill Street. There's a car that crashed into a house there. So we'll continue to bring you some more information as soon as it comes into our newsroom. Meantime, taking a look now outside at our live cameras, Brought to you by the DOT. This is 84 right around exit 21 in Waterbury. Things are definitely uh, looking a lot more normal in terms of the traffic flow. There's New Haven 95 right by the Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge. We're back to work in school today. As ter In terms of delays, nothing out of the norm. We'll keep you posted with what's going on, not only on the roads, but with the weather, weather and traffic. Another update coming at you in 30 minutes. We'll see you then. Connecticut winters can be brutal. It is snarling up things. That's why Connecticut...